Welcome to the Chlorine King Podcast, where your host, Eric Taylor, will discuss tips for the do-it-yourselfer, answer listeners' questions, conduct product reviews, and host special guests from the pool industry. Grab your swimsuits and let's dive in. What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Chlorine King Podcast. I'm your host, Eric, and I know... It's been a while since I've launched an episode, but this year has been absolutely booming. We have a great episode in store for you tonight. As you know, or if you don't, you're about to hit, be hit with some knowledge. We had our trichlor tablet shorter since August because Hurricane Laura ripped through the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, and destroyed one of the major trichlor plants responsible for the majority of the country's tablets. Now, because of that, we've seen an unprecedented increase in the cost of tablets across the nation. To help battle the cost, people were looking for an alternative means of keeping their pool water sanitized. And after talking with our friend Mara tonight, we may have the perfect solution for you, so stay tuned. As always, this episode is sponsored by Riptide Vacuum Systems. With their robust cart and high thrust motor, get through your day more quickly and refresh than ever before. Check them out at RiptideVac.com. Now to continue tradition... We're going to answer one of our listeners' questions to help spread some education for you all out there. Bill asked me, Eric, does my pool need to be serviced during the wintertime? Unequivocally, yes. You still need to service your pool unless you're up in the colder climates and close your pool for the season or an extended period of time. I often call January through March green pool season because there's a lot of people that think they don't need to continue their maintenance through the wintertime and because of that the pool turns green. Every year I get dozens if not hundreds of calls during this time asking me to help them with the green pool. So save the money and keep the pool maintained during these months and you'll come out ahead each year. So great question Bill. If you have any other questions don't hesitate to reach out. Alright everyone so I have Mara from Florija on the line. How are you doing today? Hi Eric, nice to talk with you. Yeah, it's been a while, and we, I know we've been talking about doing it for a while, and I know with the virus and everything else going on, it's nice to find the link up and hopefully share some information for everybody to learn. I know. It's, it's an exciting time, for sure, um, everywhere, and especially in the pool industry. Absolutely. It's been a, I don't know how you guys have been, but it's been a booming year for my company. I'm sure you guys have, have seen the same kind of result. Yeah, we've. I think the whole industry is up, so um, which is a great thing for everybody that's involved in the pool industry and for homeowners that are home enjoying their pools and, and able to stay safe at home. Yeah, I think they're starting to really see the true value of having a pool in their backyard when you're locked down and man, that pool looks better and better and more and more fun, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Keep your family out there and having a good time while you're all together. Definitely. So Mara, why don't you explain, introduce yourself and explain how you got in the pool industry and wound up at Fluidra. Yeah, so my name is Mara McCartney, and I'm a senior product manager with Fluidra. So I uh, focus on our water care products. And for Fluidra, that's the Jandy brand of saltwater chlorinators and also our Nature 2 brand of mineral sanitizers. So that's what I'm responsible for. I got you. Yeah, we're going to really hit heavy on the Nature 2. You know, I'm sure the listeners know, or at least if you uh, are a pool professional, you know, back in August of this year, uh, Hurricane Laura went through Louisiana and burnt down one, I think, one of three trichlor plants in the country. Is that correct? Yeah, I know that the um, it was the Biolab um, factory that burned down. And so unfortunately, that is produced a lot of trichlor tablets for the United States. And so... Because of that, I know that people are looking for alternative sanitizers, and so Nature 2 is a really great fit for that need right now, especially. Really, any time, but especially now because of this potential trichlor shortage that we're going to be seeing in the market. Yeah, I think that's a perfect product for this type of situation and this type of shortage of uh, trichlor tablets. So my first question for you, Mara, is why don't you explain exactly what the Nature 2 system is and how it works? So Nature 2 is a mineral sanitizer system, and it kills bacteria and algae. We have cartridges that are specific for pools and other cartridges that are specific for standalone portable spas. So just speaking to the, um, for the, the pool side, um, 
there's silver and copper in the product, and that is the bacteria side as well as the algae side for those pools. Oh, cool. So it works, yeah, it works in conjunction with chlorine. So I, I just want to emphasize that this is a product that you still need chlorine as a primary sanitizer or bromine if it's a bromine pool. And then it's used in conjunction with that primary sanitizer to, to kill additionally bacteria and, and algae. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that sounds exciting. So when someone installs it into their pool, how long does that product last or does it need to be recharged or anything like that? And tell us a little bit about that. So the cartridges do need to be replaced every six months in warm weather climates. So if you live in southern states where your pool is open year round, you would want to replace your cartridge every six months. If you live in colder climates where uh, you're opening the pool for a specific number of months per year and then close it, then you would want to replace that cartridge at the beginning of every season. So you'd really only need one cartridge per year. Gotcha. And then going, so that's for pools. We were talking a little bit about the spa side. If you have a hot tub, then you would want to replace your hot tub spa stick every four months. I got you. So is it like temperature dependent or is it bather load compared to water dependent as far as why you came up with those figures? So the they actually have different uh, media inside of them. And so for the pools, it's a little bit different of a media than the spa stick. And so because of that and because of the amount of media that's inside, so the vessel for the spa stick is much smaller and then would need to be replaced a little bit more frequently every four months. I see. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. So I know obviously now with the trichlor shortage that we mentioned earlier, reducing chlorine has been something that everyone who owns a service company is trying to do and for the homeowners that are DIYers. How does the Nature 2 help in reducing the chlorine use? So Nature 2 is an EPA-registered product, and because of that, we had to go through specific testing for the EPA. And so what the EPA has allowed us is that you're able to reduce your chlorine residual in your pool down to as low as 0.5 ppm. So I would say the kind of rule of thumb for a residential pool, most people are keeping their, their chlorine at one to three ppm. And So with the Nature 2 product, because of the additional minerals that you're putting in that are killing the bacteria and the algae, you're able to reduce that chlorine down to as low as 0.5 ppm. Because of that, then you're able to reduce your chlorine usage. And if you're a trichlor user, you would be able to use fewer tablets and and save on your chlorine usage. Is is Nature 2 safe for all the pool surface types or is it, is it, could it damage anything or... It's, uh, it is safe for all surface types. So no matter what type of pool you have, and even above ground or in ground pools, it would work for any of those types of pools. Awesome. So listeners, if you guys are having a hard time finding chlorine, this would be perfect for you regardless of what pool you have. Yeah, absolutely. Again, we want to be able to maintain that chlorine residual, but you're able to use less chlorine. So you'd still be able to save on it, especially um, now if chlorine is a little bit harder to find because of that potential trichlor shortage. So this this should help them out. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like a really great product, Mara. So are there any cautions with using the Nature 2 at all? Yeah, one thing that we say is that, so Nature 2, it does work with all different types of pools, but there are some things that it's not compatible with. So if you're using biguanides in your pool, or other copper algicides, you wouldn't want to use this product. So, you know, I'd make sure that someone is um, using a chlorine pool or a bromine pool, then then this should work just fine. And again, you would, since the product does have copper in it, you wouldn't want to be overdosing your, your pool with copper. So avoid other copper algicides while you're using Nature 2. And guys, if you aren't sure if you have copper in your pool, I know there's several companies that make test strips and other forms of testing to make sure that you can get a good idea of what copper level is before you go ahead and and add another copper product, which could cause some staining, I'm sure. Yeah, and one thing I should mention is that we have a no-stain guarantee. 
So even though that we have the the silver and the copper in our product, um, there's other another mineral in there that kind of holds everything together. So not all the minerals are released at once. This is a time released system. And because of that, we're able to have a no stain guarantee on your pool surfaces. Oh, that's awesome because, you know, instead of dumping everything in the pool at once, it's released, like you're saying, slowly. So, you know, over time, rainstorms or when you put the hose in the pool to fill, it's going to dilute any excess copper, it sounds like. So that's a, that's a good, good thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's one of the really nice features about the Nature2 media and how it's put together. That's awesome. Uh, now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask this question, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Is Nature2 compatible with saltwater pools? Absolutely. So it works very well with a saltwater chlorinator. And because of that ability to reduce your chlorine residual that we were talking about, if you are using Nature2 with a saltwater chlorinator, you're actually able to run your chlorinator less. And that's harder, um, meaning if, it's, if you're running it more, it's harder on the cell. So by running your salt chlorinator less, it's going to be extending the life potentially of your saltwater chlorinator. So oh. it absolutely works really well with salt chlorinators. Yeah, that's awesome, guys, because uh, getting a little technical here, the, the blades of the salt cell have a, a ruthenium coating on it, and it has a half-life just like anything else. So the longer that that thing's running, it starts to wear off. And, of course, the more you use it, the more acid baths you have to give it, which actually eats off that ruthenium coating so what she's saying is because we have the nature 2 in the pool you can run your cell much lower and save that ruthenium coating which is what makes a salt system possible for making the chlorine so that's a great feature of this nature 2 yeah absolutely and you hit on the other one which is maintenance of your chlorinator mm -hmm. so if the more you're using using it the more it can calcify on those blades and anyone that has a salt chlorinator knows that they do require some maintenance so if you're able to use it less, you're going to have less of that buildup and that calcium buildup in the maintenance. And to go even further, Mara, I know a couple of my clients, well, my area is really heavy, rich in phosphates out of the tap. You know, the, mm -hmm. my city's put phosphates in the water to pl protect the plumbing and all that fun stuff. So one thing I've seen in certain homes and, and uh, phosphate-rich environments is calcium phosphate because the salt system's cranked on all the time and causes that calcium phosphate, which... For the listeners who aren't aware, it's like little snow, like flakes coming out of your returns because the salt system is generating a, a chlorine that's high in phosphate. So in this situation, uh, to go back to what the Nature 2 does, letting us run our salt cells lower, that will also lower the calcium phosphate issue from, from happening. So again, that's another win for installing a Nature 2 system. Yeah, it's, it's really, it is a great product and... Um should be able to help you reduce your, your chlorine usage and your chemical usage. That's fantastic. So I, I've installed a bunch of these on my pools. Uh, Great. How, can you explain how simple it is to install these so people who are listening knows it's not a really invasive process or anything like that? So we have different vessels that are available. Um, they do plumb in line. So you would uh, plumb them into your plumbing line, into the return line on your equipment pad. And so depending on the vessel that you select, uh, you would cut into the pipe and glue it in with the fittings. And then once you install it, it's, it's a permanent solution. So it'll be there. And then, of course, you'll have to replace the cartridges like we talked about. So much like you would replace your water filters for your drinking water in your house, these cartridges are very simple to just unscrew from the vessel and replace. So they just drop in and, you know, unscrew and would be a really easy thing to, to do. So guys, you don't have to worry about replacing the, or I'm sorry, removing the nature two from the plumbing to swap the, the, uh, cartridge. It's, it's simply done right there with it still plumbed in. Absolutely. It becomes part of your equipment pad. And so once you install it, it's there. And then you're able to just replace the cartridges when you need to, either once a season or every six months. So it's permanent installation. Gotcha. So now, uh, is there a way to fine tune the output of the Nature 2? So like I know the rainbow chlorinators and tablet feeders all have a way to adjust how strong 
the uh, output is. Does the Nature 2 offer something like that? So as we were talking about before, it's really a controlled release uh, technology, we call it. And that's because of the way that the mineral media is put together. So you're not going to be overdosing your pool. But we do have different size cartridges available depending on if you have a smaller pool or a larger pool. So that's really the, it's the controlled release technology that's built into the media um, so that you don't have to, so that you won't be overdosing your pool with minerals. So that's awesome, guys. It's very simple. You just set it and forget it, basically. You drop it in and that's it. That's right. That's right. So now that we figured out you, you don't really have to do anything with dosing or anything like that, how do you choose the right uh, Nature 2 unit for your pool size? So as I was mentioning, we have different size cartridges. So if you have a smaller pool, we have cartridges that are good up to 25,000 gallons, which isn't a small pool at all, but, um, <laughs> but we have cartridges that would be a, have less media in them. And then... If you have a larger pool, we have a larger size cartridge that would go up to 45,000 gallons of water. So um, just really, it depends on the size gallonage of your pool, and that's how you would select the, the cartridge that you need. Okay, so an off-ball question here. I know it's generally a good idea with salt systems to oversize a cell to make it last longer. How important is it to make sure that you choose the right uh, nature two for your pool. In other words, would I want to put a forty-five thousand gallon Nature two on a ten thousand gallon pool? Is it going to make it last longer, or, or what's the best way to go there? Yeah, that's a good question. So a lot of times you mentioned the salt chlorinators and people oversizing them, and that's really for the peak heat and sunlight um, that you would want to make sure that you have enough chlorine in your pool, right? When the chlorine demand is really high. Sure. But that's not, that's not really the case with the nature two product. So if you have a 10,000 gallon pool, you really should go with a smaller cartridge. You, there's no reason why you would have to put in the larger cartridge for it to, to work with a smaller body of water. So yeah, it really, is dependent on your gallonage of water, um, unlike a, a salt chlorinator that you might want to oversize for those really peak levels. Gotcha. Well, that's great information, Mara. So now that we talked about how what it is, what it does, how to install it, basically what it works for, where can someone purchase this product for uh, their pool? So we have Nature 2 available at retail locations. Uh, it's also available at distribution for pool professionals. And there's, there's, uh, it's readily available for pool professionals to purchase or for homeowners to purchase if they want to get their replacement cartridges themselves. So they, they can find them at our website, nature2.com. You can find a dealer locator to have a dealer help you install your product and even get your cartridges there or go to a retail location and be available there as well. And a shameless plug here for anyone in Pinellas County, hit me up, I'll get it installed for you, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great, Eric. So um, where can my listeners go to learn more about the product and how it works and all that stuff? So I just mentioned our website, mm -hmm. nature2.com, and that's nature with the number two.com. They can go there for more information and read about it, or you can also find a dealer in your area like I talked about. And of course, if anybody's in your area in Florida, I would hope that they would contact you directly, Eric. Definitely. Yes. I look forward to... Uh installing more of them and uh helping out everyone's pool so Mara, i really appreciate your time and it was an, a joy to talk with you and learn more and share more about this nature 2 product so uh thank you so much for being on the show yeah thanks so much for having me eric it was really fun and hopefully we'll are able to help people with keeping their pool cleaner and and crystal their water crystal clear so thanks for your time definitely and as you being the product manager i totally expect to have you back on the show to talk about some different products that sounds great. I would love to. All right, Mara. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Wow. What a great product the Nature 2 system is. It'll be a great product to help all of us get through the chlorine tablet shortage we're experiencing. In reality, though, 
it appears to be a great product to have on your pool regardless if there's a chlorine shortage or not. So go to nature2.com and check it out. If you're starting a new pool business, need some help running your pool business, or a homeowner wanting to have some help maintaining your pool, check out my Patreon and see how I can help you. Grab your phone, tablet, or computer and head over to patreon.com backslash chlorine king and I genuinely look forward to helping you. So that's a wrap everyone. We'll see you next episode to keep the learning going. Have a great night. That's all for tonight and thanks for tuning in. Please send any comments or ideas, how-to and guest appearance requests, and product review suggestions to eric at chloreinekingpools.com. Remember, if life piddles in your pool of dreams, just add some chlorine and keep swimming. See you next time.